Okay, so we're here at Bude Haven. This is the whaleback fold that you can see uh, in the background here. It's an antiform. It's the right way up, so it's an anticlinal antiform. This is a very nice example of what's called a pericline. With periclines, then at either end of the fold, then the, the axis plunges in opposite directions. So you can see that the axis is plunging towards us on this side, and then at the far end of it, you can see it's plunging down towards the beach. Okay? So this is a very nice example of a pericline, or a periclinal anticline. You can see also, just uh, to your uh, left of the whale back, there's another little anticline in the beach, partly covered by uh, the boulders and the pebbles, and then further to the left there's another anticline and with a series of synclines connecting them. So here we have some quite complex, almost ripply type folding. And this is due to, rather than stresses just being in one, compressive stresses in just one direction, there are compressive stresses in two different directions, and it produces shortening in two directions. And in order to accommodate that, you have to have this quite complex, ripply type periclinal structures.